In the midst of Hurricane Irma's furious winds and rain, Tatiana Watkins and David Knight were at home in Little Haiti where they met their destiny, their six pound, 11 ounce baby girl. Just amazed, I'm, I'm still kind of shocked, but I just think that I'm here and she's here and everybody was safe, that's it. Mom had plans to deliver Destiny at Jackson South Community Hospital on Monday, but on Sunday, Destiny had other plans in mind. I was just shocked because I never thought it would be, I would, I would be in a situation like this, you know. I mean, I just thank God, you know, everything was all right. The, the uh, birth was successful and everybody made it out safe. Since City of Miami Fire Rescue couldn't get to them because of the strong winds from the hurricane, dispatch had to help Tatiana and David deliver over the phone with the assistance of UM Jackson Hospital on three-way. Another operator was on the line and I actually kind of took over the call and I said, I need you to wrap the baby, put the baby to the mother's breast. He's like, what do I do with this shoelace? So I'm like, tie it six inches from the baby. He's like, do I tie it tight? Do I tie it loose? So I'm like, tie it tight. And so I just kept making sure the baby was okay, the baby was breathing, and that's really where our instructions stopped. And knowing the rescue was not going to be able to get there anytime soon, we had an op another operator called Jackson. So dad had to get a little bit more involved. Um, we had him feel just behind um, what we call the suprapubic bone so he could apply some pressure as he was delivering the placenta. Um, so I had him hold. I asked him what was his dominant hand. He followed instructions. He held the uterus inside and started pulling a little bit. I told him not to pull too hard if he didn't feel like it was coming to go ahead and leave it alone. But it sounded like it started to work and so he pulled. Then I heard dad screaming <laughs> relentlessly and so I asked uh, what was happening. It sounded like the placenta was delivering. He was no longer responding to me. Um, but then Tatiana said he's okay. Oh man, it was such a good relief to like have someone on the phone that, that was like trained in the field. Like, you know, cause I think without that, I don't think I would have been able to do it, man. In a special moment at this morning's press conference, mom and dad got a chance to meet and thank the individuals who coached them through the delivery. Hello. Thank you, dad. I am so proud of you. You did such an amazing job. Thank you. I'd like to give a big thanks to everybody, uh, Jackson Health System, City of Miami Fire Department, uh, any, everybody that helped contribute to us, you know, and me delivering this baby. <laughs> Thanks for letting us be a part of it. Yeah. You did an amazing Very job. Very grateful, man. Very really grateful.